Greetings, Sixers fans. Today we have a special guest, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. Commissioner, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. My first question is, when we look at the NBA, people are super excited. Can you talk about your vision and the future of the league? It begins with how global this league is mm -hmm. and continues to become. This year, 25% of the players in the NBA were born outside of the United States. It's quite remarkable. So <laughs> one out of four were born outside the United States. Our games are televised in 215 countries and territories around the world. It's in essence everywhere. And on top of that, social media has exploded, meaning our top players have tens of millions of followers on social media. And when you add up the social media accounts of our teams, our players, the league, and our media partners, we're reaching well over a billion people. Wow. That's more than one out of seven people on the planet. And this is truly a global game. We're, of course, part of the Olympics. We're played virtually everywhere. What we're seeing is that this game is growing, expanding around the world. People love it everywhere. And I think it's ready-made for social media. I mean, the kinds of things that you're doing here where mm -hmm. little snippets of games, highlights, off-the-court stuff, People are falling in love with our players everywhere. That's awesome. We have Cameroon, Canada, Croatia, Incredible. France, right. Spain, and Australia. Wow. So how do you look at some of our young players to kind of carry that torch? Well, I'm counting on your young players. And as you <laughs> said, I mean, it's the UN here yes. in Philadelphia, and it's already a great multicultural city. And I think what your young players, they're going to continue to carry the torch. And I think as your team grows, you have great leadership with this team. Mm -hmm. Obviously now with Brian Colangelo here, nice. um, you know, I love your coach. You've got great ownership. You've got our friend Scott O'Neill yes. running the business <laughs> side that you have to build culture and the team has to come together. And, and then they have now a global stage. I and mean, of course, most importantly, you have the fans here in Philadelphia, the fans that the team counts on to support the team day in and day out. But as the team continues to get better on the floor, and grow on a global basis, you're gonna have fans everywhere, yeah. especially in all those countries you mentioned, because these are hometown heroes in some somewhere yes. in the world. Now, when we look at how the NBA has grown in terms of advancements in nutrition, sports science, the Sixers just recently built a new facility. And I, I was office. there a few weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. So, what do you think about the new the new place? Yeah. Well, I'd say first of all, you're new practice facility in Camden is truly state of the art. Yes. I mean, and I've seen them all in the league and it's a beautiful facility. It's, it, it operates in many different ways. Of course, it's where your players train, but it also becomes somewhat of a clubhouse yeah. because in building culture, building morale, players have a place to go. Players have a, a place to spend time with each other. They're watching film, they're getting taped, they're rehabbing, um, they're exercising, mm -hmm. you know, and these are year round facilities. And as I said, yours is beautiful. I'm jealous. I mean, if I ever had any great <laughs> athletic ability, that's where I'd want to be. <laughs> We're and always welcome. Yeah. And, we're, and by the way, and then you said nutrition. Mm -hmm. Then there's the chef, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not just making the meal of the day. It's yeah. sort of customized. And some guys, you know, based on very scientific testing, they need either additional protein or a certain, you know, focus on other compounds that help them, you know, either to grow or get or or to excel in certain mm -hmm. ways. I mean, it's it's amazing what the science has become behind these players. And the the great news is that over time we're going to keep players healthier and we're going to keep them playing and we're going to keep them playing longer. Yes, and indeed. So yeah. when we look at the landscape of Philadelphia, the fans as you already know are pretty high energy. As Tom McGinnis would say, get excited. Right? Yes. So our radio play-by-play -play guy. I so know. look at what has happened so far this year. This young group has, has really come together and they're playing spirited basketball. What do you think in your role as the commissioner as this group continues to grow and lead the Sixers to that next step? Well, as I said, I mean, I think what we're all realizing is that there are no magic bullets here. Right. You know, and there, there are no shortcuts to creating great franchises. And part of it is longevity, guys playing together, mm -hmm. great coaching, um, 
creating culture, all those things that are necessary. But when I look at this young group of players you have on the floor, I mean, one, there's been a spell of bad luck, too. I don't know what else to say. But I think there's so much to look forward to here. And, and again, I have complete confidence in the management of this team. And fans have high expectations, and I know the city of Philadelphia has high expectations. By the way, I just ran into Alan Iverson <laughs> and Julius Irving are both here tonight. Wow. And I saw them walking through the <laughs> arena. And they're here, and they're back here because they're excited about this team. Yeah. And they're like fans now. They were former great players, but they want to see this great franchise excel. Oh, Commissioner, thank you for the insight. Thank you for having me. Definitely. This has been fun. We really appreciate yeah, you. you. So, for Sixers.com and Adam Silver, I'm Anthony Gilbert, and we'll see you down the road.